Hi, this is basically a um, start of a Minecraft horse race that I began a couple of days ago. And essentially there is something of a story as to why this one exists. In that I created a considerable part of one before, but for some reason something happened to that world that every time I walked to a certain point, the whole thing crashed my laptop, so... That kind of got put to one side and left, but because it crashed, I never finished the horse race and still have quite a few ideas for what to do, so that went into this. So where I'm standing at the moment is the starting area, and I'll probably just fly over what I have at the moment before continuing on with building. Okay, so information. Welcome to the Great Horse Race. In this race, you will leap over lakes of fire, sprint past rains of arrows, and struggle through howling winds. Um, there's no wind in Minecraft. No one told me we're in Minecraft. I'm only reading the script. No! Thump. Well, the announcer appears to, appears to have fainted, so it's probably best you press a different button now. I thought that was a good introduction, though you might disagree on that one. Rules basically for now just has nothing but it be the usual stuff. Spectator area will take you up to the spectator area and the button that says nothing kind of explains itself really. It does nothing. So if we go to the race part now, then I have the colour selection to choose which colour horse you want to be. Um... Not all the colours, but nine people in one horse race is probably enough anyway, so if I select a colour, it teleports you into the right uh, starting boxy thing, which, when I get around to it, will have you know, preparation chests with horses and saddles and dyed armour. So, uh, yeah. That rather dangerous looking section up there will become the spectator area. Which I started but kind of haven't got very far on. Generally so far. Um, you come out of the box and into here. Uh, currently I have the doors open for some reason. But if I come back here and just close them all. Oh, that was supposed to be shut. Nope, there we go. The door's all shut. And if I... Press the lever, well, and I'm kind of proud of this, but... In the previous version of this, I had the same kind of idea, except this side of the doors open first, and then that was about a second later, so... That's all sorted out and kind of a little more fair now. The spectator area teleport will probably be about here, at a, just a glass platform going over the whole race. I have had a suggestion from a friend that I should put some traps or something on it just for fun and maybe I'll do that later. But for now I'm going to continue building the actual race part of the horse race given that it is called a horse race. Just a second. Okay, so so far in the horse race we have, and I might just grab a horse to demonstrate this with. So if we come, let's be, let's be blue. Now we have no saddle, so a saddle. Saddle, there we go. Uh, no, I want all that stuff there, okay, saddle. Rain! Seriously, rain. There you go. So, just prepare a horse. I've attempted to do this a few times, and I know it's possible, but I've had kind of an issue with getting jumpy horses. So, perhaps this one will work out properly. Well, I suppose if it doesn't, it'll just end up going the same way as the rest of them. Horse, hurry up and like me. 
Come on. Come on. Horsey, come on, like me. How hard is it to like me, Horsey? Yay, there we go, okay. Just for prettiness, there we go, and settle. Right, so, so far, you come out of here, sit here, wait in your little box until you're released, then you come through here and find a way over the hills. Jump across the, jump across the water. Is ah, this horse can jump good over the fences. Over the fences, over the fences. There we go, and that's about it so far. But like I said, because I had a version which apparently Minecraft really doesn't want me to make a horse race, I still have ideas. So if we just leave this horse parked. Yeah, for a minute or two. There we go. Now. Um, further ideas. I'm probably going to include a tree jumping on horseback, which is possible, but does kind of get annoying. And a few things involving redstone, pressure plates, jumping, that sort of thing as a general outline. But specifically now, I'm not entirely sure what was going to go on down there. So, let's just say, what else could a horse do? Hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's an idea. Um. Cut. I wonder how this will work. Horse cart on redstone blocks. And some rails. And then we'll see how well horse minecart dodging is going to work. So we just come. Different speed rails. Kind of like a frogger. You know, the cross the street without hitting the cars kind of thing. But just on a horse. And that makes sense, I suppose. Okay, there we go. And... How's it there? So there's plenty of time to just stop and actually look at it. There we go. So I've been going at different speeds and hopefully in different directions. And then I might even set up a commentary kind of automated commentary system sort of thing afterwards, depending on how long I feel like it's actually taking and whether I get around to it that too. So we'll see how that works for now. Uh, actually I kind of need a block at the end of that, not a fence. There you go. Ah. Well, that could have worked out better first time, but never mind, never mind that. So we'll try this again. Nope, we will try this again. There we go. And off we go again. No, that's 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 too easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four. So every three ish, and I'm sure this isn't going to work out perfectly at the end because Minecraft just seems to have this thing against me making a horse race. And of course, it doesn't. Wait. One, two. Three and there, one, two, three. And of course it doesn't work out, so there can just be an odd number there. It still works, hopefully. Now, oh, powered rail there, 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 and let's try this again. And nudge, nudge. And this is going to stop when it hits the fence, isn't it? Really should have thought that through better before I did it. Really, really should have thought that through better. Off we go, minecart one. Okay, that's track one. Now, should I have a gap between them or have them all in a row? I, I think all in a row. Three, four, I think about five of them would be good. 
Perhaps if this is still too easy, I might put more than one minecart on each track. You know, running at different times, two or three. Just to make it even more difficult for a horse to get past. Yeah. Here, horsey, what do you think of this, eh? Hey, horsey, what do you think? No? No kind? Fine then. Anyway. Um, okay. And we'll have a fast moving one. I'm not sure how far this is exactly going to power. I think 18 or something. No, 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 no. That goes like... That goes like that. No, no, no. That goes like that. And that one... Of course, this has to be difficult. That goes there. There. You'd think that, you know, Minecraft was scared of me making a horse race or something with how, how difficult it's being. Wait, one, two, three. That was, should be there anyway. So, if we put that there, and I, I know I said I was probably going to do the idea, in, that's not even a word, the creation of ideas probably at a separate point in time, like, I don't even know what I'm saying, sorry. The creation of ideas now, and then the actual implementing them. Yeah, that could work too, at a later point, but I do kind of want to see how this actually turns out. And that has given me a really good idea. So if we make it a, a track that kind of goes round in circles... No, we don't want it to go down there, we want that to be there, there, and then we can come along here like this, and where do I need a new one, need a new one somewhere further down here, about there-ish, that'll do, that should be okay, yep, and we come up, keep coming up here, yeah, I'll make, the, I'll make these two loop, yeah. and put a few minecarts on them, There. Hopefully, I can actually do this afterwards. I haven't really thought through how possible this is going to be, but never mind. We'll just release a couple of minecarts. One, two minecarts that way, and nudge no, another one that way. Is there? A... Uh, I think I need another minecart to be honest. Ah, get my side. Yep. I'm not trying to get myself run over or anything. Oh yes, this isn't going to be complicated enough, so let's throw in another one. Uh, how's that look? Yeah, that's 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 possible, I think. Come on, horsey, let's test this out. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Really, the worst that can happen is that we just get hit. Well, you'll get hit by a minecart, really. Now, whoa! Oh! Ha 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 ha! Uh, um, F5. <laughs> that was not remotely what I wanted to happen then. I really haven't thought this through. But yay, I'm on a horse riding a minecart. Minecart? Minecart. Alright. Nope. Let's get... Nope. Nope. Although that could be something quite interesting in itself, actually. Horse, minecart. Minecart riding. I don't actually know. Uh, horse, you can just stay, stay, stay. Yeah, I could actually do do something with that. You know, a looping track you've got to get off. How do you? Yeah, that, okay, that isn't going to work, so. I'll get rid of that at some other point, but. For now, I'll probably just start doing something with pressure plates, which I had in the original version of this, which was basically just horse jumping over a few pressure plates. Also, the initial idea was kind of a biome racing thing, but I've had better ideas since. 
such as this one, I think. So the spectator platform's kind of not going to work for this bit, really. So I suppose it can be a kind of secret thing. Because I can have a spectator area, but it's not it's really going to do exactly what I want. So the general idea of this one's going to be a dispenser and what looks pretty to put over the top. Actually, I'll, I'll, no, I'll leave it as glass so that the spectators can still actually kind of see it and just laugh at people trying to do it. So we come out to it. So what this one's going to be is I'm going to have pressure plates underneath that... that when if stepped on, no, 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 will basically cause the person running underneath it to get arrows, but it just rained on top of them for a section of thing, and possibly potions and other random stuff if I forget to fill up dispensers properly, which I have done before, and someone got a tree out of it, so that was a that was an interesting interesting experience. So basically I just have a row like that. A couple of rows, these will be filled with... No, not tea. Uh... Arrows. So the general effect will be... That will do. There. Something along the lines of yeah, just get assuming this works. Okay. Yeah, that basically the person is going to get arrow shot at them for a bit. Yeah, maybe that's the reason why Minecraft just doesn't want me to make a horse race. Because I'll do something like this and just make it impossibly hard and annoying for everyone. Yeah. Including, apparently including myself, since I thought it would be a good idea to place dispensers. And try and do this one. No. Whoa. Yeah, so essentially if you don't jump over the pressure plates, you're going to land on this bunch of arrows and get shot at for a bit. Fun. I suppose I need to give spare horses then, given that. Mm. I'll think that through. Maybe just a. I could just have it throwing some horses down. No, that's pointless. Um, also, further along, I will have a kind of obstacle coursey sort of style thing. Like about here -ish. no, a bit further about. Once I've got bored of that, about down here, where you, the aim will basically be, you have to go through under the select, you have to basically go under an arch, like that for each person, under the, under an arch, and then kind of just follow the Follow it up and that, and then have a second archway here. One more, get a second archway there, and basically you just have to walk through your archways and try not to have too much difficulty. And then perhaps a little. This part's going to be in a desert biome, probably just for something different. So a variety in texture, so we go there. Delete those two. Make them just ground. No, it's nothing too bad is going to happen yet if you miss the jump. But, they're just jumping between arches and stuff. Tree jumping. Possibly some kind of running through a large amount of mobs and attacking them 
you know, that sort of thing. But this is just basically an outline and I'll probably work on the further creation of it between recording since it's boring enough to just repeatedly do dispensers for me and I'm the one doing it so I'd rather not imagine how that must look like watching it. Yeah, and oh, before I go, I'm just going to test out how long, how the horse will actually feel about the whole arrow thing. So horse, if you care to come with me for a second here, and come and just stand right about here. Uh, fence, 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 no. No, 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 horsey, 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 horsey. Come, come back here. Just see how the horse feels about this one. Then I can think about whether I actually need to give extra horses lead. Not like I haven't already got three in my inventory, but oh well. Horse, come over to this fence. Horse, stay put there. I'm just going to come up here and flip a lever a few times. I get the impression the horse isn't really too overpleased about this idea. For some, do just somehow I get the impression that the horse isn't overpleased. Mm, mm, this is only a test, poor thing. Ah. <sighs> anyway, getting a little sidetracked with this. Apologies, horse. Then yeah, that's it. Yeah, bye. Have a good day.